and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for August the 26th through September the 1st. Oh my God, we're in September. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so glad you found me and I really hope you enjoy these readings. And if you are returning, you're my heart. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your loyalty and consistency. Thank you so much. These are general readings, guys, so please take what resonates, leave the rest, and if you would like a more tailored and uh, personal reading, you uh, may click on this link and it will take you to my website. Now, that brings me to another um, announcement. I'm kind of in a critical financial situation, which I won't bore you with the details. So for one week only, I am offering a full reading, uh, which is an hour long, sometimes a little bit more, um, for $60. So that's 40% off. There's going to be a special code that I will put in the show more section in the description box below. Um, and you can copy and paste that at uh, checkout. It will only be for one week I'll offer it. Um, so get it while you can. Uh, now, um, what else? Yes, this is for your sun, moon and rising, guys. So you can uh, find the links to the other videos below also. In fact, all the links, the links to my website, everything is below. I also have a Facebook group and on Wednesday, uh, every other Wednesday, it correlates with the new moon and the full moon. So this week it'll be about the new moon in Virgo on Friday and on Wednesday um, in my Facebook group, which is a closed group, um, you know, we discuss that, we look at your, you know, we look at your um, signs and how it's affected by the moon and also I do a little tarot reading for people so we have fun it's really it's a lovely group um the link to that will be below also uh what else another way of supporting me guys is through patreon I post things on patreon uh that I don't post anywhere else and also Thank you, my patrons. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. Um, you help me going. Uh, now, what else? Um, gosh. Uh, oh, yes. These readings come in three sections. I will have the timestamps to skip each section um, if you want to get straight to the <clears throat> excuse me i i can barely breathe because <clears throat> i have uh, been smudging my house and it is intense <laughs> i can barely breathe this these readings come in three sections we have the intro the astrology report and the tarot card reading so find the skip stamps below if you're checking out your sun moon and rising um, so uh, that's it, folks. Without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello, and welcome to the astrology section of your reading. And what a celestial sky we have this week, guys. Wow, so much earth energy and so much Virgo. Um, Virgo, Virgo energy is earth right? It's, it's the earth element, it's practical, it's um, critical thinking, and, um, and critical thinking is kind of important, right? We need to be able to look at situations critically, and sometimes ourselves. Um, just the tendency to criticize can come out, so, you know, hold back on criticizing yourself and others, unless it's um, constructive criticism, um, now, Virgo, you've got the new moon in Virgo, right? So we have five planets in Virgo, and at some point they are interacting with Uranus. Uranus is the planet of surprises and shocking and shocks and sudden happenings. It's like thunder and lightning, right? 
Um, now it is going retrograde. So all these other planets, we've got Mercury, the sun, Mars, Venus, and the moon, right? Now the moon is also, uh, you've got this beautiful new moon on the, uh, 20, on the 30th, on Friday, the 30th. Um, so this is a wonderful time for intentions, but Virgo's about planning and on, I just have to say, on Friday, um, the moon, this new moon interacts with seven planets, some in nice ways and some in not so nice ways. This is a wonderful opportunity for um, new beginnings. And because all the planets are kind of interacting with uh, Uranus and the moon too at some point, um, I think it's a good time to plan. Virgos are all about planning. They're all about structuring and um, putting rules in place and, and setting goals. So I think it's a really incredible time to set goals. Now, I want to also say there's loads of there's so much energy in Earth. This is a wonderful time to manifest, right? Because the Earth is about manifesting. It's about, you know, what we create, what we actually live with in this three-dimensional world. You know, growing food. It's about providing um, shelter and food and everything that we need to live. Um, so Virgo is also about service, and and it's a mutable sign, right? So mutable means um, flexible. So it's good to look at where we can be flexible. And so this energy is all about making plans to go forward. It's all about how can I be of service to others? Now, I just want to mention that the uh, Mars and the Sun are conjunct, almost exact. That can mean um, sudden bursts of anger, right? It can mean, because it's kind of a, uh, what do I want to say? <clears throat> it's impatience, it's intolerance. When, the, when, a, when, a, when a planet is conjunct the sun, I mean, the sun's powerful and hot, right? And it can burn um, a planet to cinder, to a cinder. So what you want to do is um, some of us can control ourselves and some of us are, can't, but it is important to choose your battles and perhaps not be impulsive, so impulsive this week, because we may have the tendency to be impulsive. Um, but the moon on Friday interacts with seven planets. So this is can mean a fluctuation in moods, not only for you, but for those around. It's, and it affects people in different ways. Um, and, and as I said, the moon is interacting with the planets, sometimes in a harmonious way and sometimes in a challenging way. You want to understand that all these moods are that you're encountering, particularly on Friday, is a result of the celestial sky and the interaction with the moon. And it's it's momentary. You know, the moon moves very fast. So that's why it's interacting, because it's kind of moving past all these planets and interacting with them. And they are interacting with other planets. So it kind of accentuates those moods. And how this affects you personally depends on where um, these planets are in your natal chart. So you might want to get a reading for that, or you might want to join my Facebook group and we can kind of um, generally discuss it. Um, at least which area it's affecting you in your life. Mercury rules uh, Virgo. So it is home. It is very happy in Virgo. So we have all this wonderful grounding, manifesting earth uh, energy here this week. And we've got a lot of Uranian energy too, right? So as during this week, um, the, the sun, Mars, Venus, 
the moon and Mercury will all interact with Uranus. Now, when that happens, it will affect us in different ways. For instance, when Venus interacts, and they're all harmonious, they're wonderful interactions, right? When Venus interacts with Uranus, um, Uranus, don't forget, is in retrograde. So you could bump into an old flame or an old friend and romantic feelings could come up for you or just, you know, very friendly and a wonderful connection. Um, depending, somebody could just pop up out of the blue because Uranus is all about like popping up out of the blue. It's about surprises. When it's a when it's a harmonious relationship, when it's in a trine, it's like, you know, nice surprises. When it's in a challenging relationship, it's shocking. Luckily, all this week is, um, it's all about harmonious connections. So it's a wonderful um, energy and surprising energy. So lovely surprises all week long. Um, so expect the unexpected. And don't forget plan and think about how you can be in service with someone and how you can be more flexible. So we have a lot going on, guys. Without further ado, let's go to your tarot card show. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading for August the 26th through September the 1st. And this is the last shuffle for you guys. This is for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. What wonderful guidance, blessings, gifts and helpful information can you give Sagittarius for this coming week? Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Three cards for Sagittarius. That's one card. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Two more cards for Sagittarius. One more card. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we have clarifying cards for Sagittarius. Mm. Clarifying cards for Sagittarius. Okay. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Sagittarius through these clarifying cards? Please clarify. Oh, wow. It's so funny. This card's come up a lot. They're, they're, um, it's definitely crossover, so check out your sun, moon, and rising. And please clarify. Let's go to your cards, shall we? Okay, the first card out for you is the um, Justice card. Clarifying the Justice card is the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Then you have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Five of Wands. And then you have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Magician. Okay, oops, needs to be a bit higher. So the first card out for you is um, the Justice card. This is about balance. It's also, I'm getting, for some of you, it's litigation. This can be an arbitrary decision that's coming down and it'll come down in your favor. I feel that... Look, if you're waiting for a settlement or an insurance payout or something like that, it's possible um, that this, you'll get this. Um, and I say that you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. What I think 
this is enabling you to go back and go back to school and study something that you really want to study and this is um because look this is the apprentice card you could you know oh, that's too high you could you know get an apprenticeship you could learn something through you know experience um there is a new beginning here that's really um oh it's a wonderful new beginning and what I'm getting with the justice card is don't take any shortcuts don't use manipulation to don't um do everything by the book that's what I'm getting for you do everything by the book handle every part of your life by the book and you've got this wonderful opportunity um, coming in and the eight of pentacles is really about focusing and putting becoming the expert putting the um, attention and the time and the effort into a craft your craft or something you really want to learn um, and then the next card is the nine of wands it's like you've it's like you're exhausted you're tired of fighting you're tired of struggling you're tired of this is like someone who's dogged by life who's been really through the ringer has tired of of protecting what's his it's been a fight right his whole life the thing is is the nine of wands you're almost at 10 right so you're almost at the finish line but this is a feeling of wanting to give up um, but when the nine of wands comes in, it's saying, don't give up, you know, lick your wounds, heal yourself and go back in. Guns are blazing, you know, figure of speech. But OK, so <laughs> clarifying is the five of wands. The five of wands is conflict, which is, you know, you're like fighting for what's yours. The thing is, when the five of wands comes into a reading, it is saying, um, handle this conflict with creativity and diplomacy because this comes up it's kind of you're like oh i'm sick of these arguments and it's like look choose your battles but choose how you battle right wisely oh sometimes it's best to let someone oh god i have to look at that there's a quote let me see this quote again oh yeah so <laughs> this is a perfect quote. Um, sometimes in life, uh, it's important to know when to stop arguing with people and simply let them be wrong. <laughs> I, I, it's anonymous. I don't know who uh, I've heard that before, but. Um, so sometimes you have to stop arguing and you have to kind of, you know, think it, you've got to handle this in some way, even if it's like backing off, um, backing off for a minute, recoup, regrouping and choose your battles wisely. Um, now the next card is the three of cups and the three of cups is all about celebration. It's about looking for the magic in every moment and guess what I just said that and guess what's clarifying this is the magician <laughs> this is about celebrating every moment looking for the magic in every moment being the magic in the moment you know go out with your girlfriends or your guy friends you know kick off your heels have fun see life as a celebration um, carpe diem right um, you know grab the moment it, it's really about living life to the fullest and really enjoying it um, the magician is all about creating something out of nothing seemingly nothing um, so this is about creating a wonderful time you know the magician has the power he has everything you require or you have everything you require um, to create the life you desire 
And you know, you love to have fun. You've got to stay in the moment and have fun and don't, you know, choose your battles. Let the other person be wrong. <laughs> And I really am getting that you need to study um, something new. I think that there's something that you w have wanted to study for a while. You don't have to formally go back to school anymore. You know, you can take lessons on online all the time. Oh, by the way, I'm teaching a tarot uh, workshop. Um, if you want to learn that, you know, check that out. <laughs> I think it's a four, four to six week course. I'm, I'm working the logistics out, but you know, I've had lots of people ask me, so I've decided to create a course for that. Anyway, Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, family, social media, uh, neighbors, anyone you might think would uh, gain something from this comment. I answer every comment and I welcome feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. <laughs>